the meaning of suffering. One of the great differences between Catholicism and other religions is the whole concept of suffering. Catholicism gives a positive meaning to suffering. We can suffer in many ways. We can suffer physically. We can suffer socially. We can suffer mental illness. We can suffer economic deprivations. We can suffer the loss of a loved one. We can suffer in dysfunctional families. We can suffer spiritually through aridity, desolation, or even dryness. We can suffer due to misunderstandings. Then there can be suffering with respect to communication. There are so many different ways that we can suffer. But the sad thing is that we could end up by wasting our suffering. In the Gospel for this Sunday, Jesus draws close to a widow who's suffering. It's the widow of name who has lost her only son. Jesus sees her suffering, draws close to her, draws close to the funeral procession, takes the boy by the hand, and raises him up, restoring life to his dead body. Jesus restored life to this woman because the very heart of her life was the life of her son. This widow's name is very much like the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary lost her husband, St. Joseph. Imagine the suffering that she must have gone through. But also Mary, like the widow's name, she lost her only son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mary's suffering was very intense. She did not fall into depression because she knew how to suffer. She united her suffering to God, conforming her will to the will of God and for the salvation of the whole world. Therefore, in our sufferings, let's not waste our suffering, but offer it up. Let us unite our sufferings to the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary. Amen.